In this tutorial, we're going to prove by contradiction that root 2 is irrational. So there's two parts to this proof, so I've divided the page down the middle. The first thing we're going to do on the left-hand side is we're going to prove if n squared is even, then n is even. So that's the first thing we need to do quite a long proof this so it's easy to split it into two parts like this so we're going to do this by contradiction as well so we're going to assume that the negation is true so assume there exists I'm going to assume that there exists a counter example that will disprove this statement so we're going to assume there exists an odd integer n which can be written in the form 2m plus 1 such that n squared is even so that's our false assumption if you like we're going to try and disprove that false assumption now okay so this means that n squared equals 2m plus 1 squared equals 4m squared plus 4m plus 1 equals and if we take out the factor of 2 out of every term we can take a factor of 2 out of we get 2m squared plus 2m and we out of things with a we're out of things with a factor of 2 now with a plus 1 on the end so that's clearly of the form Two times something plus one therefore odd a contradiction therefore our above assumption must be false therefore the original statement in blue if n squared is even then n is even so what we've done there we've tried to prove the false statement came to a nonsensical conclusion Therefore, our assumption couldn't have been true. Therefore, the original statement, the opposite, must be true. If n squared is even, then n is even. So now that we've got that, we're ready now to prove root 2 is irrational. So we're again going to do that by contradiction. We're going to assume that the opposite is true. So assume that root 2 is rational i.e. that it can be written in the form a over b where a and b are integers with no common factors so we're, all, we're saying that we can write root 2 as a fraction of two integers where the fractions in its lowest terms now the bit that we're going to try and contradict is this bit here with no common factors this is the contradiction that we're going to make later we're going to show that it's not possible to do that okay so root 2 is a over b and that means that 2 equals a squared over b squared I square both sides right and that means that a squared equals 2b squared now notice here that if a squared is 2 times another number then it must be even so a squared equals 2 times something therefore a squared 
must be even. This is where the bit of work we did across here came in, because if a square number is even, then the number before it was squared must be even. So that's where this part of the proof comes in. So therefore, A must be even. So the next part, since A is even, it can be written in the form A equals 2n. So that's what an even number is, a multiple of 2. Therefore, if I take this statement here and replace the A with 2n, I get 2n squared equals 2b squared, which means that 4n squared equals 2 b squared, which means that b squared must equal 2n squared. And now we can deduce that b is also even, therefore b squared is even, because b squared is 2 times something. And again, using the theorem that we just proved here, Therefore, B is even. And here's where the contradiction comes. Since A and B are both even, they share a common factor. And that's what contradicts our statement that we made just up here that I've highlighted. This statement here, we said that we could write it as A over B, where A and B have no common factors, but we've just proven that that can't be the case. We've just proven that A and B have to have a common factor of 2. Therefore, a contradiction So we've disproven our nonsensical assumption here, assume that it's rational, we've disproven that bit. Therefore the opposite must be true, therefore root 2 must be irrational. And we're done there. Quite a complicated proof. You might need to look back through this and pause it a few times, watch it a few times to get to grips with what's going on because this is quite a complicated proof but one that you are expected to know for all of the exam boards for more videos like this go to a or subscribe to our youtube channel